Exotic class items are available in Destiny 2, plus we've got a new farmable exotic mission called Dual Destiny. First of all, you have to unlock the exotic mission on the Pale Heart, and then once you complete your first run, you can get additional random rolls of that class item. Well, today I'm going to go through all the steps required to get the new exotic class items in Destiny 2. Well, if you enjoyed the video, then subscribe for more Destiny 2 content, plus also like the video and turn on notifications to never miss an update. Okay, so let's dive right into the details. So to get your exotic class item, you need to do a few things. So first of all, complete the Final Shake campaign and have the Prismatic subclass. Then unlock the Dual Destiny exotic mission by playing Overthrow on the Pale Heart. And then you want to complete the Dual Destiny exotic mission. So first of all, let's have a look at how to unlock the Dual Destiny exotic mission. So this is the mission where you'll get your exotic class item. And to unlock this mission, you have to complete a full run of the Overthrow activity in each region of the Pale Heart. And then once you defeat the boss in each region, you need to find and kill a Secret Keeper, and that is a Light-Bearing Wizard. So here are the locations. We've got the Landing, so that's in the cave near the Lost Sector. The Blooming, behind the Fast Travel Point. And then the Impasse near the Lost Sector symbol. So once you've done this, then a green beam of light will appear in the sky in the blooming area of the Pale Heart, and this will lead you to a cave. In the cave, there's a statue of Savathun. So approach the statue, you're going to hear Savathun laughing, then you're going to see some text that says a strange energy washes over you. Then you're going to get two markers on your HUD. Go to the markers, defeat the enemies, and then subjugators spawn. So two moats are going to drop from these enemies, one dark and one light. You have to dunk these in the cave near the statue, do this, and then you're going to get access to the Dual Destiny exotic mission. And at this point, once you've unlocked the mission, you can come back to it later on. It's going to be unlocked via the Pale Heart. You can see it there on the director. So once you do this first step once, go through all the overthrow activities. Don't worry, you don't have to do that again. Next up, let's move on to the Dual Destiny exotic mission guide. So... Only two Guardians are going to be able to go into Dual Destiny, so you're going to need a partner, either a friend, a clan mate, you have to find someone via Fireteam Finder or on LFG. And the idea here is to work together to solve puzzles and complete the mission within the timer. One of you will need to be using a Light subclass and one a Darkness subclass, or you can both use Prismatic. To start with, both stand on the Light and the Darkness plates to open up the barrier. You want to go through to the outside area and you're going to find the pyramid splinters leading to the caves on the other side. So get to the new barriers and you have to stand on the light and darkness place again to open up the barriers and then we get to the first puzzle. So the light aligned player will be calling out the order of the symbols and the dark aligned player will be shooting the nodes with the symbols in the air in the same order. So you can either call out on voice chat or through text chat, you know, whatever is easiest for you. Stand on the plates to begin and defeat enemies until the servile enemies spawn. Defeat it and then do that again. The light aligned player then calls out the symbols from left to right and the dark aligned player shoots the nodes with the symbols in the air. When you complete this, you're going to be teleported to the next zone. Well, next up we've got the second symbol puzzle. So the next puzzle here is the same as before, however, the team roles are reversed, plus you've got three symbols instead of two. So dark aligned players do callouts and light aligned players shoot symbols. Complete this and then it's on to the next puzzle. So next up we've got the third symbol puzzle and this time we've got four symbols and the roles are flipped once again. So light aligned players go back to doing callouts and dark aligned players go back to shooting the symbols. Finish this up and then you can move on to the next section. Well, then we've got our first jumping puzzle. So also six minutes are going to be added to the timer. What you want to do is make your way through the section as fast as you possibly can. Well, next up, we've got the first clock puzzle. So now we've got a new puzzle and new mechanics. We have to shoot nodes that you both see in a clock like formation. So when the encounter starts, the light aligned and the dark aligned players will see different nodes connected to the splinter. Tormentors are going to appear and the guardian that kills the tormentor to get the harmonic sundering buff that allows them to shoot the clock. The player who didn't get the buff should say which nodes that they see. 
The Guardian with the buff then sees which nodes they can see as well, and then you match them up and you shoot the node that matches. If you get it wrong, the text will say a light and darkness fall out of balance and your empowerment fades. If you get it right, it says light and darkness surge, destabilizing an obelisk. All you need to do is repeat until the barrier goes down and then you can continue in the mission. Next up we have a second jumping puzzle, so we've got more jumping and six more minutes going to be added to the timer. So we've got platforms here, tree branches and paths to a new area. You're going to reach a large floating platform area where you have to kill the enemies and then stand on the darkness and light platforms to reveal gateways to launch you to new separate platforms. Then repeat this until you get to the end. Then the final platform has more enemies and also tormentors as well. Well next up we got the boss fight. So this is where you have to fight Expector Seelin and Expector Yemek while also solving more puzzles as well. So you fight these subjugators separately at first and then they team up together and they both attack you. So first of all let's have a look at the fight with Expector Selin. So this one goes immune when you remove one third of its health and then the first puzzle begins. What you want to do is clear out the enemies until the servile enemies spawn. Both light and dark aligned guardians should kill the enemies and then the light aligned player will see the symbols and the dark aligned player shoots the nodes with the symbols. Now this time you want to read from top to bottom. Do this and then you can remove another third of Selin's health. It's then going to go immune again and then Yemek will enter the battle. Well, let's have a look at the fight with Expector Yemek. So now the Dark Align player sees the symbols for the Light Align player to shoot the nodes. Again, you want to read them from top to bottom. We've got six symbols to shoot here, four in the middle and one on each of the left hand side and on the right hand side. Do this correctly and Yemek will lose his immune status and then you want to remove another third of its health. Finally, we have another clock puzzle. So this is similar to before. However, this time, both players will need to shoot the clocks. Only one node from the four connections need to be activated. And you have to do this three times. So you both go to your clock and you can see it only has four connections. Read out which ones are connected, like reading a clock. The other player then says which matches they have. And you both shoot the node that matches. But do be aware, you need to do this quite quickly. If correct, then the layout is going to change and you have to repeat. Then you have to do this three times to solve the puzzle and lower the barrier. So, so shooting the correct node and it will say barrier strength has diminished. And shooting the wrong node, it will say incorrect node barrier frequency changing. So once complete, you then turn your attention to Expector Selin and Expector Yemek. Kill them both. Take an Ogres and Dread appear, so do be careful of them. And also if you get to 30 seconds left, Savathun will send in a Sacrificial Lightbearer Wizard. You can also defeat them for an additional three minutes of time. Defeat the bosses and there's a nice little surprise there at the end where you have to make a choice. And after that, you're going to get your exotic class item. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about that mission. There's been a certain amount of backlash online due to the sheer amount of communication needed in this exotic mission. But I don't know about you. I really enjoyed it and I think it was a really, really good mission. But I would love to hear what you think. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the exotic class items in Destiny 2 and also complete the dual Destiny mission. And as always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. So you can also like the video and share the video too. That would really, really help me out here on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express backstage the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express backstage community discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our community discord and also early access to content. In tier 2 that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier 3 that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free 
But if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels. But to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable. And in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage-only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links, and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.